Uh, are we ready? You think so, huh? You know how long we've been waiting for this? No, Madeline, it's been more. It was in 1963, I think. I have the chronology right here. I got to make sure I'm exactly right. The landfill closed in 1963. Community Board 10 requested a golf course in 1977. The first plans were announced in 1998. Uh, Ferry Point Partners started in 2000, and we terminated their contract in 2006, and in 2007 started working on it. Does that tell you how long it is? When they say government doesn't deliver, what do you mean? 60 years, but we got it done. Anyways, um, we have quite a lineup this morning. We have the Golden Bear, the Donald, and the Mayor. Now, I know who would win this threesome, but it's really hard to say whether Donald or Jack would finish second. Uh, I wanted to welcome all of you to Ferry Point with some very exciting park developments are happening. As everybody knows, today we are welcoming a beautiful addition to New York's golf history, one that will help, um, help open up a bright new future for what is one of the largest tracts of undeveloped parkland in the five boroughs. Now, back in 1895, uh, I'm sure Madeline was around then. Close. Close. She and I. <laughs> Back in 1895, the city opened the nation's first municipal golf course in Van Cortland Park. And we have great public courses and golf centers around the five boroughs, but we have never had a pro tournament quality public course until now. And for the record, this is our 14th public course in the city. People don't think of Manhattan and Bronx and Brooklyn and Queens and uh, Staten Island as golf centers. Uh, Manhattan's the only one that does not have a public course, but it does have two driving ranges, so even in Manhattan you can practice. Um, today we're celebrating the completion of construction on the final hole on this new Ferry Point golf course, and what a course it is. Designed by the Golden Bear, Jack Nicholas himself, with his firm Nicholas Design, working together with Sanford Golf Design. It is built on 192 acres of former landfill. It has a 7,365-yard course that, when it's finally built out, will also include a practice facility, a comfort station, and a snack bar designed by our great team at the Department of Design and Construction. It is a beautiful place to play around with phenomenal views of Long Island Sound and the Manhattan skyline behind me. And while it will be a great course for uh, all skill levels, it's also designed to challenge even the most advanced player. Uh, we hope the new course will host world-class tournaments here in Ferry Point, shining a spotlight on the Bronx and bringing visitors and revenue to the borough. I have always been annoyed that everybody talks about Beth Page Black. It's a wonderful course, and I am a member of the a citizen of New York State, so I guess I should be proud, but I have a little more loyalty in New York City. We need something to compete with Beth Page Black, and this is going to do it. Uh, the course will be operated by the great Trump Organization, which was selected through a competitive process in 2010. And as part of the agreement, the Trump, Trump Organization will invest a minimum of $10 million to build a new city-owned clubhouse, which will begin construction next year. In the summer of 2014, Ferry Point will begin hosting free youth golf instruction through the city's Park Foundation, Parks Foundation and the First Tee New York, a great partnership which has brought free golf programs to about 4,000 city kids this year alone. And then the course will be open to the public in 2015. Uh, when it does, the course will be a stunning addition to the roster of beautiful new parks taking shape right here in Ferry Point. We also opened a nine and a half acre playground and park in 2011 and 2012 with new basketball, baseball and soccer fields, basketball courts and wildflower and native grasses. We're also building a 20 acre waterfront park right here at Ferry Point with a new tidal wetland that will create a natural habitat for wildlife and help capture stormwater. And with these new par parks and the Ferry Point Golf Course, uh, we think we're, un we're unlocking the tremendous potential uh, of an area that was once just landfill cut off from the community and inaccessible for public use. It also culminates a process that has been six de decades in the making, as I've said before, and that's how long ideas for parkland to replace garbage dumps that uh, uh, used to uh, be here have been on the table. 
and the community first requested a golf course here more than 30 years ago. Uh, since then, we've been working with community leaders and local leaders to make sure these new parks reflect their input. And I wanted to make a special case to say thank you to John Morano. He's chair of Community Board 10. Uh, hopefully, the community board is happy. Now, also near and dear to the heart of all the taxpayers in New York City, the course will bring revenue to the city and it will bring new opportunities for recreation and relaxation, as well as a beautiful new green space to the Bronx. It will also create at least 50 permanent local jobs. And so now you're going to hear from some of the people that made this possible, starting with our Great Parks Commissioner, Veronica White. Veronica. Thank you very much. It's really great to be here in the Bronx and celebrate what a wonderful opening and how the public and private sectors came together for this wonderful day. But I'd like a big round of applause for Mayor Bloomberg and First Deputy Mayor Patty Harris, who invested in parks across our five boroughs, all five boroughs, in wonderful golf courses like this our parks, our playgrounds, and so many fields across our wonderful city. The investment in the Parks Department in this administration has been huge. It's been enormous. It's been great. And you see it everywhere you go. And I have the pleasure of following the mayor around over these past few months and for the next few weeks, opening many, many places where we've invested $5 billion over 12 years. And New Yorkers are happy and proud. And I'd also like a round of applause for the Parks Department especially our Capital Division and our Revenue Division under Therese Braddock and Betsy Smith, who've done enormous work leading the Parks Department ahead on such wonderful projects as these. So thank you and congratulations to all. It's a wonderful day for New York and for the Bronx and for golf. Thank you, Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, thanks, Veronica. A significant amount of environmental remediation was needed to turn this former landfill into a safe, viable place for public use, which it is today. And I did want to thank the Department of Sanitation and Environmental Conservation for their hard work in making that happen. I also wanted to thank First Deputy Mayor Patty Harris and Vicki Metzger. Vicki, where are you hiding someplace? Vicki, thank you. You did all the work, and Patty gets all the credit. Um, that, uh, as well as Betsy Smith, John uh, Natoli, and the Parks Department Capital Team for their commitment and hard work to bringing this project to life. They really have done a lot. The Parks Department managed construction on this very large and complex project and did a fantastic job. And we're very glad to work with golf legend Jack Nicholas to bring this new course to the Bronx. Uh, I pinch myself that I actually know on a first name basis this guy, Jack, you know how famous he is in the world? I mean, what's he doing talking to me, Jack? Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm delighted to be able to get this project to the finish line. And without your help, that certainly wouldn't have happened. And of course, I don't believe we would have gotten this thing totally to the finish line without the help of Donald Trump. I think that uh, uh, I've been here, I haven't been here since 1963. But uh, I seem to have been here for a while. And uh, it's been the vision to have a special golf course here uh, for, for the five boroughs and for New York City. And, of course, take a look at that skyline behind you. Is that something special? I mean, you stand up on so many holes and you get that view and you get the beautiful view of the bridge. I mean, you've got uh, the Whitestone Bridge. I mean, you've got so many beautiful things here. And to come out of the city, go down the freeways, and all of a sudden you leave the congestion and the traffic and you come up here and all of a sudden you see... I'm in Scotland, I'm in Ireland, I'm in England, where am I? And it's, uh, it's a very peaceful place, it's going to be some place that the people are going to enjoy for many, many, many years. We're very proud to be involved in it, and I think it's something that, uh, uh, you know, if, if, and I was asked, asked to be able to do a golf course that could host a national event. And, and on a significant basis, I know that uh, uh, Mike Davis made some very nice quotes in the paper this morning. Uh, about the USJ's interest in, in here, and also I want you to know that the PGA of America has a great interest in, in, in the place to beat Pavakwa. But anyway, uh, a lot of people will be interested here. A lot of people would like to have a great event here. I know that the city of New York, uh, uh, for the city of New York to have, have a, a, a special event here and have this, this uh, golf course for your use and for your people will be uh, something they'll enjoy for many, many years to come. And I'm very proud to be part of it, and thank you for having us here today. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. And we're joined this morning by Donald Trump, president and chairman of the Trump Organization. Uh, but I will say, um, has a spectacular family. I've become friendly with uh, all of them. The funniest time, though, was when uh, you and I got on the subway together, and he said, I take it every day. I'm not clear he does that. Uh, 
But if there's anybody that has changed this city, it is Donald Trump. He really has done an amazing thing, and this is another part of it. Donald, thank you for your confidence in the city. Well, thank you very much, Mike. And I have to say, you have been a great mayor. Come here. Well, thank you. you really have. I mean, this guy is fantastic. And Jack and I understood Mike wanted this built. He wanted it built. This is, you know, whether it was 63 or 69, it was a long time. And Mike wanted to get this built before he left office. And you did that. And I do believe we're going to have U.S. Opens. We're going to have uh, so many great tournaments here. And the city is going to get its money back tenfold, many, many times, and the prestige. I also want to compliment, to me, a great man. I'm a golfer. So if you're a golfer, he's a great man. If you're not a golfer, he's a very fine man, right, Jack? <laughs> this guy right here. Is, he's the greatest golfer that's ever lived, 18 majors. But uh, he's also a special guy, and we've become friends. I think I can really say that, Jack. We didn't know each other. For years, we didn't know each other. Right. But now we've gotten to know each other, and he's a special man. And what I said in the Wall Street Journal today, Jack Nicholas is a great, great golf architect. And what he's done, I think this will make him very, very proud in the years to come. And his beautiful wife, Barbara, thank you. Stand up, Barbara. You're, you're the boss in that family. Everybody in golf knows that. I also would like to compliment uh, Commissioner White and Betsy and John and Tony of the Parks Department. They have been so incredible. Everybody in the Parks Department. We, we were designated about 14 months ago, Mike, and if you look out here, it wasn't quite looking like this. And we knocked heads and we really did a job and we got everybody together and we have built something that's really very special. Something that really can't happen again. I don't think it can ever happen again because you're never gonna have a great, great course, a world championship course in a great city like this. It just can't happen. You don't have the land. So I'm very proud of it. I wanna thank everybody in the Trump Organization, Ron Lieberman, Matt, everybody, every guy, John, you're doing the clubhouse. You better be good. We start the clubhouse in a little while. John is the architect, John Sullivan. And my family, of course, we have Melania and Eric, and done. And uh, our deputy mayor, I tell you what, she's tough, you know. She wanted this built. You know, there was no games, right, Patty? There was no games. You wanted it built. So congratulations to everybody, and congratulations to the Bronx, because this is going to be a great, great thing to the Bronx. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Donald, thank you. We have two retired public officials here. I just wanted to point out Madeline Provenzano and Steve Kaufman. And thank you for everything the two of you have done for the Bronx. Um, borough President Ruben Diaz, Jr. is a great borough president. He really is making a difference in the Bronx. Um, the Bronx is today safe, and it is growing, and people are moving in, and there's all sorts of exciting things happening in the Bronx. And he has certainly been a part of making that happen. Ruben? Thank you, Thank you Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the beautiful borough of the Bronx. Uh, for us, uh, the elected officials who are here today, uh, those who were, used to be elected officials like Madeline and Steve, to the community board members, uh, members of the Bronx Chamber of Commerce, we are ecstatic. We really are so proud. Uh, as they say in Spanish, Mr. Mayor, we're cavelling. Absolutely. <laughs> I thought that was Gaelic, actually. <laughs> uh, to the architect, uh, Mr. Nicholas, thank you for believing in us for so many years and, and, and designing this beautiful course. Uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is that this could not have been done uh, if it were not for Mr. Trump. Uh, so many people have tried uh, for so many, many, many years. But it's not just the fact that he put his money where his mouth is. It's the way that he and Eric and, and Donald Jr., the way the organization came to us, came to my office, Mr. Mayor, and spoke about not only building the, the, the course, but doing it in a way where the jobs go to the community, where you have community hiring, where you can work with our students, some who are here today, so they can learn a new sport, so they can better themselves, and, and so that Bronxites can have another amenity right here in our borough. The fact that the local merchants, think about this. Think about this course here and what it would mean for the local merchants here in Thras Neck, in this area of the Bronx. If you could just imagine for one minute, while we speak of hiring in our students, what this means for the branding and the image of the Bronx. Mr. Trump has golf courses all over the planet. He could have built one anywhere, but he put his brand, he put his money right here in the Bronx. 
That's a vote of confidence. That's going to help us change the image of our borough. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the catalyst. This is how people all over the planet will see, hopefully with a PGA-style tournament, with a PGA tournament here, that we have a new Bronx. Mr. Mayor, to you, I just want to say thank you because we've done it again. First, it was the Kingsbridge Armory. We had the Carrie Lee's Tennis Center in Cretona Park. Now this course, hopefully we'll have a, 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 a Major League Soccer uh, arena here in the borough. We are booming. This is the Bronx, baby. And now that you are going to have a little bit of more time on your hand, uh, come January 1st, maybe you and I, you could take me and show me uh, a little golf. Thank you all. God bless the Bronx. God bless all of you for being a part of this. I hate to point this out and break his bubble a little bit, but it was his father who endorsed me once, not him. Now, his father didn't do it the second and third time, but that's another thing. Uh, the local city council member is Jimmy Vaca. He has fought uh, tirelessly for the Bronx. Uh, he does it in a nice way, and he's got some... Uh, uh, some real notches on his belt. Uh, he's done uh, exactly what a city council member should do. Jimmy, you want to say something? Jimmy! Uh, thank you, thank you Mike. I, I thank you, Mr. Mayor. You know, I do have to say that I was one of those around in 1977 when this idea was conceived by Councilman Michael DeMarco and his chief of staff, Madeline Provenzano. I was chairman of Community Board 10. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We thought it was a great idea, and then we hit brick wall after brick wall and delay after delay. You, Mr. Mayor, moved this to where it is today. We thank you so much. This is a dream come true. You could see houses here in Throg's Neck who are going to overlook a golf course. They don't have to live in Westchester County anymore to overlook a golf course. They can overlook it here in Throg's Neck, Bronx, New York, and that's great. And... Um, well, let me say this about Donald Trump. I have to tell you something. You know, when they chose Donald Trump to be the person to complete the golf course, all the newspapers called me up and they said, uh, you know, what do you think? So I said, at this point, it took 30 years to do it. If it's Donald Trump or Donald Duck, I want the golf course finished. I don't care. So I didn't know Mr. Trump at the time. I had heard of him, of course. But they said to me, but Jimmy, he's a Republican. So I said, what do I care? And then they started to tell me all these controversial things that he says. And I said, let me tell you something. He will get it done. And as long as he gets it done and does it right, I support what he's going to do. And Mr. Trump, you've more than kept your word to this community. You have finished this. You'll be finishing this golf course in record time where many of us thought it was just another deadline that we would have seen come and go. So I thank you. I thank Ron Lieberman from your staff, who I go back many years with, years and years ago. Ron Lieberman, I thank you. This is a good day for the Bronx. It's a good day for my district. And uh, I, I, I really, myself, uh, am pinching myself today because this is a day that's going to be going down in history of our neighborhood, and this is a day many of us thought we'd never see. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Donald Trump. Thank you, everyone. And Jimmy, uh, if Betsy Smith and Annette Smith get behind something, it just gets done. That's the answer. Uh, next up, State Senator Jeff Klein. Jeff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, this is truly a great day. Uh, as a lifelong Bronx resident, uh, I always believed in the Bronx. But what we're seeing over the last couple of years uh, is nothing short of amazing. Uh, everyone is believing in the Bronx again. Uh, within a two-mile radius, uh, we're going to have a first-class hotel, uh, the 911 call center here in the city, uh, a Target, an outlet mall, uh, and now uh, a golf course. Uh, this is putting uh, the Bronx on the map. You know, when I drive around uh, this wonderful borough, uh, when I see the site of cranes and construction, uh, that makes me happy. Uh, that means believe, people are believing in the Bronx. And you know something? Uh, that's the greatest gift uh, we can give to Bronxites. Uh, construction, jobs, and uh, I think this really couldn't have been done without our mayor. Uh, you know, we're looking uh, at so many legacies uh, that Mayor Bloomberg uh, has uh, completed and seen through fruition, and I think this is an important one. And I think uh, Donald Trump uh, deserves a tremendous hand uh, because while others couldn't do it, uh, he stepped in and get it done. I thank you all.
Yep, thank you. And uh, last but certainly not least, somebody who really works as hard for the Bronx as any of us do, Assembly Member Mike Benedito. Mike. Yeah, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And as the mayor said, it's one of the good things right now is in this whole lineup of speakers, you're looking at the caboose here right now. <laughs> Just a great, happy day for the Bronx, for this whole neighborhood. Anybody who's lived here all their lives, all they've seen, at least since 1963, when this was closed, they've seen a barren wasteland where dirt bikes uh, were running around disturbing the peace at night or, or on a Sunday morning. Many, many people just n never thought that this was going to happen. Mike DeMarco had a dream. Madeline Provenzano took up that dream and, and, and pushed it along. And then, with the good sense of our mayor, okay, realized that this was a great idea and, and, and committed to it. And even then, we were wondering whether this was ever going to be built. And as soon as it was announced that they found a new developer, and that new developer was Donald Trump, I just said, that's it. It's going to be done now. So my compliments to everybody who had a hand in this. And Mr. Mayor, we thank you for this gift to the Bronx and, and to my neighborhood in particular. Thanks so much. Let me just uh, summarize for uh, our Spanish-speaking New Yorkers. Hemos terminado la construcción en el nuevo campo de golf Ferry Point en el Bronx. Es uno de los nuevos parques y áreas verdes que uh, hemos creado en este condado. Habrán clases de golf gratis para niños este verano y para adultos en el 2015. Y uh, traeré muchos visitantes al Bronx. Uh, gracias. Uh, I do that just so that Ruben can practice his Spanish. He's getting a little rusty. Um, are we going to have a photo? <laughs>